Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to discuss about some word problems which include the uses of HCF. Okay, so without wasting time, let's begin. Students, now we are going to discuss this word problem. Okay, find the greatest number which can divide 623, 729 and 841 leaving remainders 3, 9 and 1 respectively. Okay, so let us discuss this question. Students, as per the given data, we have numbers 623, 729 and 841 with us. We need to find out the highest number that will divide each of the numbers leaving behind remainders 3, 9 and 1. First, we need to understand what the given data says. Okay, It says the highest number that we are going to find will divide 623 leaving behind remainder 3, 729 leaving behind remainder 9 and 841 leaving behind remainder 1. 3, 9 and 1 are remainders in each case. That means when we subtract 3 from 623, 9 from 729 and 1 from 841 and find the HCF of the numbers we get, then those will be completely divisible by that HCF, isn't it? Then when those numbers will be completely divisible, these numbers will leave remainders 3, 9 and 1 respectively. Let us now take an example to understand this in a better way. Okay. Suppose I say 12. Okay. When I divide 12 by 5, okay, I get quotient as 2 and remainder as 2. 5 to the 10 remainder is 2. That means if 2 is subtracted from 12, then the number we get will be completely divisible by 5. So 10 divided by 5 will be 2. Now 10 will be completely divisible by 5. Same way if I subtract 3 from 623, I get 620. If I subtract 9 from 729, I get 720. And when I subtract 1 from 841, I get 840. That means if I find the SCF of these numbers, they will be completely divisible by their HCF. Okay. So just think about it. If 620 is divisible by any number, that means when we divide 623 by that number, it will give us a remainder 3. Same way, when 720 is divisible by any number, when we divide 729 by that number, it will give us remainder 9. Because 720 will be divisible. Up to 720, we can divide. After that, 9 will be remainder. When 840 is divisible by a number and it is completely divisible, then when we divide 841 by that number, it will give us a remainder 1 because we can go up to 840 while dividing, which will give us remainder 0. But when we add 1 to 840, then the remainder will also be 1. Okay? Hope you understand. Let us now discuss how to write the statements and find the solution of this question. Okay? Students, we need to write that. The given numbers are 623, 729 and 841. The remainders, remainders we get are 3, 9 and 1 respectively. Okay, next statement, subtracting the remainders from the numbers 
we get 623 minus 3 that is 620 729 minus 9 that is 720 841 minus 1 that is 840 okay so students then we need to find out the HCF of 620, 720 and 840. Here I have gone for the prime factorization method. You can find the HCF either by prime factorization method or division method. That is up to you. Okay. After factorization, I get 620 as 2 into 2 into 5 into 31. 720 as 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 3 into 3 into 5 and 840 as 2 into 2 into 2 into 3 into 5 into 7. So let us find out which are the common factors. We have got 2 over here, another 2 and 5. So that is all. So the SCF is equal to 2 into 2 into 5 that is 20. So 20 is the highest common factor of 620, 720 and 840. Then we need to write the statement that 20 divides 620, 720 and 840 completely. That implies 3, 9 and 1 will be remainders when 623, 729 and 841 will be divided by 20. Okay. Now, here we have got the solution that 20 is the number that will divide 623, 729 and 841 and leave behind remainder as 3, 9 and 1 respectively. Okay. Now we need to write the final statement. Okay. Then we need to write that. So 20 is the largest number. Which will divide 623, 729, and 841, leaving behind 3, 9, and 1 as remainders respectively. With this, your solution comes to an end okay do not forget to write the final statement because it is very important okay hope you understand students the next question is three tankers contain 403 liters 434 liters and 465 liters of diesel respectively find the maximum capacity of a container that can measure the diesel of three containers exact number of time okay so let us now discuss so students to solve this problem we need to begin with the statement capacity of containers 403 liters 434 liter 465 liter then we need to write down this statement that we need to find out the maximum capacity of a container that can measure the diesel of the three containers exact number of times then we need to find out the hcf of 403 434 and 465 why because we need a container that will divide the diesel exact number of time. That means we need to find out the highest common factor of these three numbers. Because we know that the highest common factor divides the given numbers completely. Here also it is being asked to find the maximum capacity of the container that will measure the diesel of these containers exact number of times. So, we need to find out the SCF 403, 434 and 465. When I do the prime factorization, I find that 403 is equal to 13 into 31, 434 is equal to 2 into 7 into 31 and 465 is equal to 3 into 5 into 31. So, 
which is the HCF. The common factor here is only 31. So, HCF is equal to 31. That means 31 is the highest number that will divide 403, 434 and 465 completely. That means 31 liter is the maximum capacity of the container that can measure 403 liter, 434 liter, 465 liter of diesel kept in three different containers exact number of time. So students you need to write this final statement that 31 liter is the maximum capacity of the container that will measure the diesel kept in the three given containers. Okay. Hope you understand. Students, aaj humne HCF ko use karke kuch word problems ko solve kiya. Thik hai. Aasa karta hoon tumko ye concept samaj mein aa gaya hooga. Agar nahi, to video ko dobara play karo. Achhi tarah se, jo bhi mene statement bataye, usko dekho. और प्रोसीजर को समझो तुमको जरूर समझ में आ जाएगा नहीं तो मुझे मेल पक्का करना मेरा ईमेल आईडी अभी आपके स्क्रीन के ऊपर ही है आप मेल करो मैं आपको जरूर रिप्लाई करूंगा ठीक है प्रैक्टिस करना जरूरी है देखो प्रैक्टिस नहीं करोगे नहीं होगा सिर्फ ये जो आज हमने दो सॉल्व किए प्रॉब्लम उससे नहीं होने वाला आपके पास जो भी बुक्स है उसमें से वर्ड प्रॉब्लम निकालो उसको अच्छी तरह से समझो और सॉल्व करो कोई भी वर्ड प्रॉब्लम में अगर डाउट होता है तो मुझे मेल करो ठीक है तो जस्ट कीप प्रैक्टिसिंग कीप लर्निंग एंड मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंटली कीप स्माइलिंग